Hi guys, what's going on and welcome back to another video on Conqueror's Blade. So, since the Lao Rangers are soon probably going to be getting a nerf on our version, or at least there has been a nerf on Frontier, as we record this, which is currently Saturday, um, it's not made it over to us yet, but I suspect very shortly we'll see that come across. So I thought, well, let's take them out for one last little sort of hurrah, because I'm not really playing very much cavalry on this channel to be honest and um while i did cover them at the time i've not played them really at all since so i sort of wanted to take them back out just to see how crazy they actually are as a unit um obviously they're the season six upgraded version of the firelands cavalry um at the time they've had a bit of a roller coaster of a balance when they first got released way back in season six they were absolutely crap couldn't do anything with them utterly useless so then they got a pretty significant buff and then, then they went too far and they've then been, you know, really crazy for the past season or so. And now we're finally getting them notched back down again a little bit. I think it's kind of a much needed little nerf. They are a little bit crazy. Yeah, you can sort of counter them if you get your 40s set up in time, but it's pretty hard to do. And the damage burst output of these guys is so intense that they really can clear stacks of enemies, you know, almost instantly. Um, when I last played them, quite a few people pointed out that I wasn't really making proper use of the 3k, this devastation here on the end. And yeah, you are absolutely right. Making use of that is absolutely the way to go. It's just so, well, d devastating, I guess is the right word. And it really is a, yeah, quite a brutal ability. And that leaves you your bludgeon free once the devastation has come off, then activate the bludgeon as well. So yeah, truly a, a kind of a brutal unit. Uh, doctrine wise, I can't even remember what I've got on them. Increased bludgeon damage and uh, movement speed gives a small improvement to the unit's range resistance. Well, I think this was one from a series of quests that you had to do back in Season 6. I'm not sure you can even get this Doctrine anymore. Uh, not 100% sure about that. Other than that, a little bit of health and a little bit of blunt and piercing damage. Uh, decrease. Defense. That's the word. Anyone wouldn't believe that English is actually my main language. Um, so they are a really interesting unit. 13,000 hit points, not too bad on the defensive stats. Let's just hop into a game. We're not going to do a whole unit review on them because we've got another two videos on these guys, but I just wanted to have it as a little bit of a find a little bit of fun with them before they kind of get their nerf. Unit kit wise, I suspect it's going to be quite expensive because oh, we actually have some in stock, so I can't really show you. But uh, the fact you've got to do horses and uh, unit kits normally makes something like this quite expensive to maintain. But let's hop into a battle with them. Let's see how we do and see how many people we can flatten with our lows. So we kick things off midway through a game. We'd already lost the A point and I just got myself killed over on B. Respawn with my Laos and I'm kind of thinking about what I want to do now. And you can kind of see my thought process a little bit on this strategic map. You can see the people, enemies starting to rush point. And I'm thinking, well, I just want the bulk of them to get in so I can come around cleanly behind them. And then hopefully as they're starting to threaten base, we can get in and effectively wipe them because I know how damaging this unit can be. Got some friendly berserkers coming around with us, but we're going to be there first. I start to line my unit up, get them moving in. As we get close, I press three and well, the results kind of speak for itself. Multiple hero kills and basically just wipe the whole point. Go on with my bludgeon. Um, we're sort of up about 50 unit kills by this point. I thought then we'd pretty much wipe the point. Some stuff was still left alive, but we'd used both of our abilities and everything was now on cooldown. So I wanted to get out. And because we'd sort of been pushing from the back and back through to friendly territory, and we had those friendly teammate berserkers coming up behind, we actually only lost six of the unit. We wiped out a couple of enemy heroes, about 50 enemy units, but we've still got 10 of our Lao left alive. So I was really quite pleased with that, and I think we did a decent job of helping clear out the point, because they were starting to put a pretty decent amount of pressure on it. Just being able to get that flank that kind of is important in that sort of situation. Fortunately, I realised I haven't got a horse which is never great. <laughs> so I start to make my way back down to the supply point. Of course, by this point, the unit is now healed up and, you know, pretty much ready just to go again. But it's really looking for those opportunities I find. And I think that's something that's true really of any cavalry unit. It's, it's often finding your timed moment. And I think that's what makes cavalry so effective is finding that moment and then suddenly, you know, unleashing hell. But it's about timing because if you just sort of run around if i just run down now and try and find an enemy unit to kill i'll end up running into a larger cluster because they're all around that supply point and actually i think there's some forta brushes around here I, I go and have a quick look to see what was there there's a lot of stuff there that i don't want to deal with and there would have been too much and i would have got myself killed so it didn't seem really to be a benefit 
they're not imminently threatening the point quite at the moment. So I'm happy to hang on, kind of to wait to see how the situation develops. Have a swing at a few rattans, but there you go, you know, there's the pikes. The rest of our friendly cavalry there pretty much got killed. And I'm sure they took quite a lot of stuff with it, but I want to try and keep these lows alive. I want to try and keep the unit going, see how many kills we can actually get with them. And because it's pretty much the only unit I've got left. But now things start to get more interesting. One, these rattan swords start to push up. Obviously, they can easily be killed by the Laos. But behind that is Stawats. Okay, that's fine. But those four Tabrasio in the block is what concerns me. They start to move up. I mean, there's some potential there if you could time it right. But I know there's also some enemy javelins. And that's when I notice the large enemy push coming from the other direction. Since those four Tabrasios and Stawats are still sort of in block, holding there, I decided to focus my attention on point. You know, this is ultimately what matters. matters. And as we get in, we go straight on with the devastation. Straight in, a couple more hero kills, and it's just, just it's death in the 50 kills. <laughs> it's just ridiculous. Pretty much insta-wipes the point. And I'm trying to pull the unit back out. The cav charge comes across. I thought that was going to catch more of the unit, but we really got away with it. And so we only lost another two. So we've had, what, I don't know, 100 unit kills? Four unit kills? Uh, four hero kills, sorry now. So it just shows what this unit is like, and it's so instant. The enemy gets so little time to react because you're just on, bang, and it's just straight in with that devastation. We didn't even get my bludgeon activated in time that time before everything was pretty much dead and I was trying to get clear from the enemy cavalry charge. But the unit's now back on supply and healing up. We have enough um, friendly troops to push them back out again because we won't wipe pretty much their push. You know, they're a little bit down. Try and get this <laughs> musket who manages to evade me continuously. And then we're kind of thinking, well, what's next? These Fortabrachios and the Stalwart block is still there. So I'm glad I didn't waste my time waiting for an opportunity there because they had waited there basically the whole time holding that passageway. And there was nothing, oh, blister, uh, nothing in that situation that I could really have done because running into the Fortabrachios would have been almost certain death. Eventually, the Fortabrachios do retreat back to the supply point. I'm sure you call that sort of 10, 15 seconds ago as they, they moved back and a friendly unit took advantage of that and flattened the Stalwarts. I could arguably have followed that up now myself and gone and pushed that supply point, but I didn't think it was worth it, and the enemy's starting to mount for their third push on the main base point. So I'm starting to think, okay, well, we're probably going to be needing to do a similar sort of thing. I'm pushing out wide looking for where I want to go. We get these um, Sons of Fenrir come in. I come in and I bludgeon, get ourselves another hero kill. Just flatten those Sons of Fenrir. It's really not, not a problem for this unit, but I've still got my Devastation. Just trying to get my angle right for these imp javs. Go in and go for the devastation. We get caught up a little bit more this time, get a little bit of fewer explosions, which limits the effectiveness of the unit somewhat. And they do unfortunately get themselves killed. Then with the mortar starting to come in, I'm now having to fight for the point as a hero. Is really the unit unfortunately got themselves killed. But I mean, what a game it was with them and what potential they have. And you can see why they've decided to, to, to adjust down their burst damage slightly because the speed and rate at which they can wipe enemy units is truly colossal. It's just unbelievable. And then I nicely stand in a trip, good job, Eva. But I mean, beyond that, there's not really that much more to say about them. They are a very impressive unit. They do insane amounts of burst damage. It'll be interesting to see what they are like a little bit post nerf, but I thought it would be a bit of a laugh to take them out and just have a little bit of fun with them, since I don't really use very much cavalry on this channel. But anyway, hopefully you've enjoyed the video. If you have, do let me know what you think in the comments down below. Of course, subscribe to the channel for a lot more Conqueror's Blade content, and I shall see you guys all on the next one. And yes, we did lose this fight. <laughs>